everybody, if you are interested in how to create a perfect landing page just in 20 minutes without coding experience, without uh, design experience, so that video is going to be for you. Uh, today we are going to talk about the lead pages, so check this video till the end because in this video I would like to show you all how you can create this landing page, um, how it works, lead pages editor, uh, and I actually I want to prove you all that it's possible. Uh, that's simple, not so difficult as you imagine it in your head. And actually, as usual, I'm waiting for your uh, likes, comments, shares, personal opinions. And let's get down to our work just directly right now. <laughs> So what is lead pages? Actually, lead pages is a landing page builder that helps you uh, get more leads and email subscribers. Uh, their software is used by people who want to effortlessly create beautiful lead capture pages and maximize opt-ins. Um, their tool is easy to use because the editor is user-friendly, is intuitive, and templates are click and replace, I would say. Uh, talking about the pros, uh, you will have free trial available, which is uh, for 14 days so you may try it don't hesitate it um you can create landing pages in minutes uh there are um are, there is actually actionable analytics ability to choose templates by conversion rate uh great for anyone who uses facebook ads to grow their email list and right now i would like you to observe all these templates i mean not all these templates but kind of actually for example we have a free checklist and here we have an announcement that it's new. So uh, let's check the preview. Uh, we have uh, the opportunity to check it as a desktop and in mobile devices. So basically here we have uh, three, um, I would say, uh, three sections. Um, and actually that's for mobile devices. So I would say it's pretty cool uh, and we may start to work with these templates. So clicking directly to the bottom, uh, use this template, we will actually start our journey with the editor but first of all we need to give a name uh, to our landing page uh, to be honest right now I don't have any project so let it be just an example seriously it's not <laughs> please don't judge me so strictly so I propose you to name as a free uh, guy let it be kind of I don't know <laughs> yep and actually okay we have okay let it be one Okay, oh, once again, mm. okay, free checklist. So, it's very simple for me to work with um, lead pages editor because to be honest, it's very, uh, very simple to work with this thing. It's user friendly, it's intuitive, it means that you don't need to know uh, how to code because here you don't need to code yep uh you are playing around with the sections with the design with the fonts with the widgets with all the stuff uh, the only thing i would love to advise you if you want to create your personal landing page for your product you need to imagine a plan a scheme uh in your head how should we it look like yep or you may draw it in uh, a paper for example how many sections should be cdas headers footers and other things yeah uh, and actually with this plan you may uh, select that type of uh, template you would like to work with or change it or redesign it whatever and first of all uh, you need to actually to have um, the widgets I mean like the widgets so the images for the backgrounds the content the visual content that you will use in your templates uh, and I assure you you will create your personal landing page and right now we will start our work with this editor so um, basically on the left side we have uh, general tools first is uh, layout basically the layout shows us how many sections we have header main content and footer so here we have basically only three three sections and clicking directly to the edge section we may actually replace it here we have a logo row uh, row number two talking about the logo unfortunately lead pages uh, doesn't have uh, 
uh, the opportunity, um, the other app, as for example, Wix uh, Logo Maker, yep, uh, it doesn't have it, but you may create your personal logo in other uh, uh, apps, for example, and just uh, upload it to directly right here, and I guess it, that it's not a problem, to be honest. Um, okay, uh, the next one. Um, this tool is responsible for sections. So basically, if you think um, that three section it's not enough, and you would like to add something, you may simply add uh, one of these variants. Uh, I mean, of each section. So you need to understand what section should be. Uh, FAQ ads, contact ads, logos, heroes, testimonials, uh, blanks, uh, whatever, yep. And uh, you need to uh, just simply, okay, simply drag this uh, thing right here. But, okay, but here we have CDA, here we have CDA, and here... I don't like this uh, section, to be honest. So I would love to delete it. And what we should add, to be honest, uh, contact us. Okay, so we may left this form, for example. Yep, and it should be right here. If you have any questions, in case you have any questions, please write us, kind of, yep. Uh, or please write us uh, the your email address, yeah, because you need to make uh, the visitor your potential client. Okay, so basically that's how it works, and let's redesign the first, um, I would say, uh, section, which is header. So, you, by the way, you may um, rename this page uh, and actually section style. So, here we have a background, I would say. I would love, uh, to be honest, to add the image, yep. So, uh, what image we can add just right here. Uh, design the personal brand that attracts your dream audience. Okay. So clicking directly to the bottom of add image, you have the opportunity to buy the image uh, right here in the lead pages, but they are not for free. I advise you to uh, make your personal widgets uh, for um, for actually uh, your project, for your landing page. But I will upload um, the image uh, for the background uh, from my laptop. So, as you see, I decided to choose this uh, beautiful uh, picture for a background, and here we have actually um, images, yep, the space for the image, so um, it's up to you. You can, uh, if you would like to locate the image right here, you may do this, or you may uh, delete actually this section, yep. Uh, so, let's, okay, whatever. Uh, let's add it, this image to the other one. So, actually, I decided to uh, put this image, but to be honest, I think that it's uh, it looks not so pretty. Uh, so, I would love to delete this image, and here we have only um, only the header with a beautiful background with a CDA, which I would love to change, I would say, the color. And let the color will be uh, just like here, yep, and let's play around, I would say, uh, uh, with the fonts. So first of all, I would love to change um, <laughs> the fonts and let it be PD Sans, but, uh, oh, or Open Sans. Okay, and let's make it a little bit, no, it should be just right here. Okay, and uh, once again, I would love to change the color. Yeah, and the color should be... Oh my gosh, once again. And the color should be... Okay. Simply right here and here. Uh, it may be just like here, uh, what we have. Okay, and I would love to make it uh, bold. Okay, so basically that's how you uh, need to play around with uh, all this, uh, with all the widgets, with all the things. And here, for example, we can add it to the image of that beautiful girl. We can replace the image. We can make it just right here. Yep. 
and I guess it looks better. So let's do this once again. So here we have this girl. Okay, so basically, uh, <laughs> and what if I will locate the text? Okay, directly just right here, and the bottom should be okay once again. Okay, so it looks better, but okay, kind of. So basically, here we have a presentation of uh, a girl, uh, but I don't like. Okay, right now it looks better. Yeah. So basically, that's uh, the uh, second section. Uh, remember that if you have right here this bottom, so the next bottom should be should have the same color as uh, it was uh, in the first section. You may just make a change. I would say uh, here it should be like the full. Uh, in black color and here only uh, I would say uh, outlines I mean okay so basically uh, that's it uh, if you would like you may change actually a background the only thing I would love to uh, change are the fonts so basically here we have uh, open sense so here also should be open sense okay just open sense it should be bold and the color should be just right here yep and the other things you need to play around with of the content so basically here we have barrel so and all of this should be barrel i would say yep no it's barrel okay the only once again i would love to change the colors but color right here is navy blue okay let it be right here so basically that's how you may play around with um, all the widgets with all the fonts with each detail because if you will play with each detail uh, you will get the other um, template it won't be a standard template it will be your personal template that's how you see that's how you work with it so um, okay and the last one contact us uh, I would love to uh, change a background and let it be just simply right here but what if it will be without a background okay mm -hmm. uh, what if we will add the image once again and we will continue yep uh, just right here and what we have right here so uh, once again uh, here we have actually the forms and they should be in that color and here uh, the tax should be open sans once again so you need to you know to save all the settings and right here we have the barlow okay so basically that's how you work with all these forms and the last one I need to change okay the color of uh, the bottom Yep, and that's how it works, that's how you see it. Um, so the last footer and footer, talking about this footer, what we have. Uh, okay, section style. Mm, okay, I would love to delete the images and to make it simply right here yeah and the only thing we need to make visible all that that was written so basically you see that's template that i've redesigned and let's check the preview so actually that's how i made it the only thing i would love to delete um this uh image i forgot it yep and here we have this short i would say um, template not the template landing page yep so that's how it looks like on uh phone 
on the phone okay i'm really disappointed about that so i will delete it just directly right now but that's all that's how it looks like that's how it looks on the desktop version and that's how it looks on the tablet version so guys that's actually all for this video episode and i would like you to thank you first of all i really do hope that my video uh will be very useful for you maybe important and of course interesting as usual i'm waiting for your likes i'm waiting for your shares i'm waiting for your personal opinion what do you think about my videos what i'm doing for you uh and actually see ya in another video episode wish you good luck with the link pages see ya bye